Thank you, John. It goes into the record books as a big win, doesn't it? The big idea tonight, David, the start of the comeback for Nathan Gorman. How much has he convinced you tonight? I, I was convinced with the performance. He won every single round in my book. Um, I, I, I didn't learn anything new about his style. I didn't, I didn't, he didn't show me anything I didn't already know. I've seen him inspiring up and close and personal many, many times. I've always liked what he's, his boxing ability. Always liked the fact that he punches off um, hooks and whatnot. Here he is, the way he counters with his left hook is one of his biggest weapons. Um, he was getting caught a couple of times here, but against a latte, you need to be taking a latte out. You don't want to be doing 10 rounds with um, the likes of latte. If you see how Dubois took him out, you know, he walked onto a big shot, but he then closed the show. Um, I definitely feel that, um, Gorman's carrying too much weight. You know, look at the midsection. This isn't a primed athlete, someone who's paid the price, someone who's gone out running in the morning, someone who's watched their diet, someone who, you know, who burns three or 4,000 calories a day and you know, doesn't consume 16,000 calories, you know. He needs to focus on conditioning because, you know, the boxing side's there. He's got all of the punches you'd ever need for a, a boxer, a heavyweight. He's got quick hands. He has very quick feet, but you can only be so quick when you're carrying, you know, two stone of unnecessary weight. It's unnecessary. And it's only going to slow him down. It's going to slow his reflexes down. And it's, he's not going to achieve what he can achieve in boxing, which is a lot. I really rate him. He just needs to change his lifestyle. Whatever he's doing is, is incorrect at home. I don't know what, who's cooking his food. I don't know who's doing his strength and conditioning program. But he needs to have a... Who, I heard, is it Clark, his new coach, is his old amateur coach. You want a professional coach if you're going into a professional boxing match against dangerous guys. He really does need to take a real hard look at himself and think, do I want to be the heavyweight champion of the world? Do I really want to go as far as I can? And if the answer is yes, you need to make some serious changes. Would you not cut him a bit of slack? I mean, no, he's been he's, out for a long time. Been out, they've both been out for a long time. Both of them have. They've both come off two knockout losses. You, if you've been knocked out, after I got knocked out in my, in my tenth fight, I came back, I had to change my lifestyle. I realised I wasn't doing what I needed to do to get to where I wanted to get to. And I made the adjustments. I paid the price. You know, I, for me to move from cruiserweight to heavyweight, I had to set alarms in the middle of the night to wake up and have protein shakes just so I could put the weight on. He doesn't need to be setting alarms eating whatever he's eating in the middle of the night. He needs to focus on being lean, mean, and getting the job done, training hard, and focus on nothing other than winning. It's pretty strong stuff, David. Thank you very much indeed. And we're going to give Nathan Gorman the right to reply in no. just a moment or no, two. But, but, I love David. You know, we know, I love David, and I always have done. I just want to see him succeed. I want to see him go as far do. as he can do. And he won't do that by eating what he's been eating. He just needs to change it. OK. We've got a W against his name tonight. Where next? And I mentioned, you know, this amazing top ten. Historic level British. I, I, I think he should continue with the, the, the likes of the lattes, the guys who are dangerous guys, but I need him to get someone like Lighty out of there within five or six rounds. He needs to be using his speed of, foot, speed of hand to put clusters of punches together, which he does fantastically well. I've, maybe, maybe a Dave Allen. Uh, Dave Allen, I think that would be a good fight, a good level fight for him. You know, Dave Allen on his day can cause an upset. He's, he's done it in the past and he's a similar weight. He'll walk forward. I think Dave Allen at the moment. I think that's a 50-50 fight. So I think look at someone like Dave Allen and really try to show us what you've really got. 